Welcome to Penrose Learning, where we make understanding easy. In this video, I will explain how to play Roblox on a virtual machine. First, select a reliable virtualization platform, such as VMware Workstation or Oracle VirtualBox. Next, dedicate a minimum of 4 GB of RAM to your virtual machine to ensure smooth operation. It's crucial that your host computer possesses ample resources, ideally 16 gigabytes of RAM or more, to support both the host and the virtual environment effectively. To configure your virtual machine for Roblox, assign at least two CPU cores to it, which significantly improves game performance. Crucially, enable three-dimensional acceleration in your virtual machine's display settings to render graphics properly. After setting up the operating system, install the guest additions or tools from your virtualization software. These drivers enhance display resolution, mouse integration, and overall system responsiveness, making your gaming experience much smoother. Once your virtual machine is configured, install a compatible operating system, such as Windows 10 or Windows 11. After the operating system is ready, navigate to the official Roblox website and download the Roblox player. If you encounter issues, First, ensure your virtual display drivers are up to date by reinstalling guest editions. Also, verify your virtual machine has a stable internet connection, as Roblox requires online access to function correctly. For the best Roblox experience on your virtual machine, optimize performance by closing all non-essential applications on both your host and virtual systems. Within Roblox, reduce the in-game graphics quality settings to achieve higher frame rates and smoother gameplay. Furthermore, consistently update your virtualization software and your host machine's dedicated graphics drivers. These steps ensure your virtual environment runs as efficiently as possible, providing a more enjoyable gaming session. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, leave a like and consider subscribing. See you next time.